welcome to this uh, video and uh, in this video we are going to learn about typecasting in shift so like uh, you always heard and word like uh, typecasting so in shift typecasting has been uh, done with the three different types of keywords the first keyword is is and the second keyword is as as question mark and the third keyword is as exclamatory so these are the some of the three types of um, different types of uh, uh, keywords which we are uh, using for typecasting so usually we used to we, we undergo this kind of uh, keywords in our uh, project development so let me explain you one by one and how it is utilized in uh, shift and what uh, what and all the way we can uh, get uh, implemented this particular uh, typecasting in um, project so let's uh, go one by one so first is is so so this keyword is used to check whether the variable is belongs to the particular uh, uh, type for example whether you are going to check any uh, variable or check any um, objects that belongs to the specific types at the time we can uh, uh, we can use uh, is so for that we uh, you see an example called a is a type of string so this this will print like uh, a is a string so i have declared the variable called a and initialized it to 8 so i am just checking a is type of string and just printing the a is string so this is the, like this way the is is used and it's used to check whether the particular variable is a string or not in case if a is not string means it will return false so basically this is is an uh, kind of boolean variable that's going to return whether the particular uh, condition is satisfied or not so in that way yeah is is used coming to the as uh, question mark so this is also a same kind of is but in this we can also do an optional uh, uh, way of uh, binding the variables for that let's see an example so i'm just checking whether if let object equal to b as question mark as string so in case uh, if i if if, if i uh, done um, forcefully means at the time it will show some error so uh, for that purpose we are using an uh, as question mark this used to uh, get the variable with options optionals so that uh, our app won't crash so in this way the ask question mark is uh, utilized for checking the typecasting and the last and the least uh, as uh, exclamatory is the last one so in the as exclamatory is the one which is same as like the as question mark but the only difference as you know very well like it used to force unwrapping so Usually, I used to won't recommend this as uh, ash because uh, you never you, you never know what kind of um, uh, data type it's going to return. But if you are sure about uh, exactly the return type of the uh, uh, variable at that time, you can utilize an uh, as ash trick uh, exclamatory. So for that, I'm just uh, using a uh, third example for C is like let C equal to B as exclamatory as int so uh, this used to tells like uh, this particular b variable is definitely an int in case if the b variable is sting or anything else means at the time this this particular lines uh, get be uh, getting be crashed and it uh, and shows an error so these are the some of the three keywords which is using for the typecasting um, and um, these are some of the uh, pretty example for this and I hope like uh, now you are clear about the typecasting in shift. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit a like and uh, share button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe uh, our channel for more video like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up.